Welcome everyone. A couple of days ago, Benjamin Mujic sent me this picture and asked me how to build this kind of roof in Akika. And here's my answer. Let's start with some auxiliary lights. Switch to the shell tool. First geometry method and complex construction method and just click on the curve holding the spacebar down. I extrude it to 30 meters in this case. Now also change the material to plywood and the thickness to 20 centimeters. In the next step I create a section in which I can flip over the shell so it stands on the ground like the roof of a hall. Just go on the section and rotate the shell. Then I draw a line in a 45 degree angle through the shell and use it as orientation for another section. Let's go in the new section and I use auxiliary lines to make out the curvature of the morphs I will create in a minute. The blue lines will show the outlines of the morph. I copy the lines 50 cm to each side so the morphs will have a size of 1 by 1 meter, so it will be a 1 by 1 meter grid in this case. Now create a morph, first in 2D. The material doesn't really matter here. And now switch to 3D and extrude it to 1 meter. Now we have to multiply the morph along the curved line. Click on the morph and open the multiply menu. Make sure you're in the rotate mode, not in the drag mode. And use spread as multiply method. And also make sure that pick arc and rotate to path are activated in this case. I have to play around with the angle here because I didn't figure it out. I just started with 3 degrees, then I saw it's not enough and 
I went over to 4 degrees and that was too much. So I basically ended with 3.5 degrees here. Or 3.4 degrees that seems to be perfect in this case I rotated it to the left first and then I did the same to the right side and as I was done I united all morphs to one big morph using the boolean operations you can right click anywhere and go to boolean operations and go to union now I have one big morph and I have to drag the morph back down and make sure it overcast the existing shell This looks good and now we can switch back to the floor plan. Here I copied the morph parallel to the existing one. Um, but first I measured out that the space between the morphs now is 5 cm. So this is the distance between the holes that will be created later. Now the parallel copy with 1 meter and 5 centimeters. And I use this just as a help to measure out the distance between the original morph and the copied morph when it's not parallel but in a straight line. So it's 1 meter 0.584 or 485. <laughs> I go back to multiply to the drag mode to spread 1.485 meters, no path, click on OK and I start with copying or multiplying the morph um, downwards. As long as they are all selected I unite them to one big morph and I also cut the morph on the outline of the shell. And I do the same thing on top of the drawing, multiply, unite and then cut the morph. Finally unite all morphs to one big morph, that's important, you will see it later. And now I tried to figure out how I can cut the morph so I will get a clean edge on the sides but it didn't work like I wanted it to have. So I just cut it on the outline of the shell first and then I cut away some centimeters again. If you're wondering how I cut the morphs, I always use the shortcuts. In case you are not using shortcuts, you can look up how you can cut a morph or cut anything in ArchiCut.
So now comes the clue. I create a new layer and I called it invisible. And I put the morph on this new invisible layer. Click on the shell and I open the solid element operations by right clicking anywhere, go to connect, solid element operations and um, the shell should be automatically be the target of the operation and I choose the morph as operator element and I use subtraction as operation and finally execute. And now I can make the invisible layer invisible and finally it looks like this. Now we're almost finished. I go back in the floor plan and I take the curve from the floor plan and make it 20 cm wider or bigger. So I simply create another shell with a thickness of 20 cm to cover the grid shell. I just use the same shell geometry methods as we did before. 20 centimeters thickness, not a thickness. Press the spacebar and click on the line, and that's it basically. Go back into section one, rotate the morph again, or the shell, it's not a morph, and just bring it in the right position. I do this in a 3D window. And we're finally done. And I will speed the next steps a little bit up a bit and then you will see how it looks with walls and the slab and finally a rendered version of the insert room. You could also achieve this with a curved curtain wall for example. By the way, there are also multiple ways to achieve something in, in Archicad. Um, here you can see that it's not actually accurate, that's because I didn't copy it in a parallel way. I tried it to make it a straight line. Maybe I made a mistake, I don't know, but I hope you understood how you can achieve this kind of grid shell. I hope you learned something. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Always leave me some comments down below in the comment section. Write me if you want to know how to build anything in Archicad, just like Benjamin did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet. And until next time, have a great day and stay creative.